and welcome to another ArduX tutorial. Today we'll show you how to use an IR sensor to control a servo. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, an input of the library. So we're going to add a library into here and it's going to be the servo library. Next what we're going to do is we're going to declare something to use the servo library. So to do that I'm just going to do our basic servo and then I'm going to attach mine to servo and pin 9. So let's call mine servo 9. Next, what I want to do is I want to establish a void setup and a void loop. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to start a serial connection. The serial connection is mainly just for the IR sensor. So go ahead and write serial.begin. We're going to set that baud rate to 9600. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to establish um, an attachment of the servo uh, variable name, the servo9, to a specific pin. So I'm just going to write servo9.attach. And then we're going to say it's at pin 9. And that should be all that we have in the setup section. Next, most of the code is going to be in void loop. What we're going to do is we're going to establish a mapping uh, between how close you are to the IR sensor and how far it's going to make the uh, servo move. So to do this, we're going to do um, some we're going to create a global variable to store all the values being read by the IR sensor. So that's done by int value. We're going to do analog read. And my IR sensor is on pin 31. Next, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to have us print out whatever number we get from the IR sensor so we can see that distance value. So let's go ahead and print serial dot print one and then sensor value or just value. So it's gonna print whatever value we get from this analog read. Next we're gonna do um, a map so that this map is based off how close you are to the sensor and corresponding to the 0 to 180 degrees from the servo. So we're going to say that the value is equal to a map of the value from the low limit of the IR sensor, which is 0, to the highest value from the IR sensor, which is 1023. And then these numbers are the following numbers will be for the servo, so it's going to be something like 0 to 180. But in our case, we're going to do 179 just because it helps it so that you don't hear this weird ticking noise when you, when you, when you reach. Next, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write these values from the sensor value onto the servo. So to do that, we're going to do servo 9.write. And then we're going to use the value as the position that you, the servo will move. So it's writing uh, whatever sensor value that's mapped out onto the servo. And that's how you get the positioning. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to input a slight delay just to give the board some time to process memory. So if you do it right, you should be able to do that without any problem. I'm going to upload it. Just to show you the IR sensor, I'm going to turn on the serial monitor. And then as soon as I press start on here, you're going to see that you're going to get readout numbers. So this is without me touching it, and this is with me touching it. And then you can hear the servo moving. Thanks. Um, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, if I said anything wrong, uh, comments are appreciated. Thanks.